commandment that I command you today, you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land that the Lord swore to give to your fathers. And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you, and let you hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Matthew 4. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Deuteronomy 9. And at Kibroth Hatana, you provoked the Lord to wrath. And when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and take possession of the land that I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God and did not believe him or obey his voice. John 3 Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, do not, absolutely do not, yield yourselves and your wills and your minds to carnal men. For I say, you are not meant to be ruled by them, you are meant to be ruled by me. And I say, you are not meant to be subject to their power, for my power is greater than theirs. And I say, you are meant to keep yourselves ever in me. That is, ever trusting, believing, and knowing that it is me, the living God, who bears rule over thee. For I say, you are called to be my people, you are called to be my prophets, and I say that men are not meant to bear rule over thee. But I say, it is me, the living God, who rules thee, it is me, the living God, who directs thee, and guides thee forth in my way. Therefore, I say, be serving each day with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise. That is, that you are privileged to live in repentance before me, declare the same, and walk uprightly in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that men would live afar off from me, would go a pouring after the world and the vanity of the same. Nor did I intend that men would allow those of the carnal plane to rule them as they do. For I say, when men will stop serving me because of the commands and demands of men, I say they are not worthy of me. And I say they are proving themselves unfaithful because they care more about men than me. Now I say this day that the ones who are true to me will be my people, will follow me and obey me. And I say they will know it is more important to obey me than to obey the commands of men. For I say, when men in their wise conceit think they can dictate what it is that my own people can do, I say they are utter fools. For I say that my people will serve me despite the circumstance, despite the obstacle, and despite what it is that carnal men may say. Now I say this day, be faithful, be true, be steady in me, because it is me you are privileged to love. That is, you are privileged to walk in the way of my truth, my light, my mercy reveal. And I say you are privileged to be coming forth, knowing that through me you are guided each day. And I say you are privileged to be coming forth, knowing that in me you are uplifted and instructed in my way. Now I say this day counted a privilege to continue to believe, to continue to receive, and be brought forth each day by me. And I say counted a privilege to be knowing that it is me, the living God, you can look to, and not to any other man. For I say you are not meant to be looking to men as though they were higher than I, nor are you meant to be respecting authority that takes you away from me. But I say you are meant to keep trusting, believing, and looking unto me each and every day, for I will guide you in my way. Now I say when my own people will trust in the systems of men, the authority of men above me, then I say they stop being identified with me. 
and I say instead they take on the identity of the beast, and yes, they become just that. For I say, when the ones who are meant to be identified with me will bow the knee to the beast and succumb to the same, then I say they are no longer ruled by me. But I say they are ruled by the wickedness, the evil, the rebellion against me that is found in the beast. Now I say this day that I will have been God am at this time calling for my own people to love, to worship, to serve me. That is, to come forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am, ever uplifted, directed, and guided in my way. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who walk so conspectly before me to be ever submitted unto me. That is, that they can be coming forth, ever knowing that it is me that they serve. Now I say this day that I will have been God to offer to you the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope I say walk to the same. And I say be made glad each day that you can come forth rejoicing in me, because it is me that you serve. For I say, if you walk in the way of my truth, my light, my mercy revealed, then I say you are guided in me. And yes, you are given the hope, the peace, the strength, the safety of who I am. Now I say this day that I will have been God to call my people to keep their faith, their trust, their confidence in me. That is, to know they are meant to be under my authority rather than the authority of wicked men. For I say that wicked men will try to put their rope around you, they will try to make you succumb to their authority, but I say you are not meant to be subject to them. But I say you are meant to be subject to me, the one true God who does care for thee. Now I say this day when you walk in repentance, declare repentance, and serve the very cause of repentance, I say you are found pleasing me. And yes, you will be able to guide men forth in the newness of life, the truth, the strength, the mercy of who I am. And yes, you will be able to direct others in the way that is newness of life, as they will continue trusting, believing, and looking to me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. Therefore I say, be thankful when I, the living God, do give you the privilege to participate in repentance revolution, for I say that it is my ordination for the sons of men. That is, that men would repent, would turn from the wickedness, the evil of their own way, and be subject to me. But I say, when men are striving to compromise the message that I desire put forth in order to please themselves, to please the beast, I say they are no longer serving me. But I say they are serving self, which is, of course, the inward beast, and I say they are serving the outward beast likewise. Now I say there are multitudes, they call themselves mine, but I say that their hearts are far from me. For I say they are serving the interest of the beast, they are serving the desires of the same, and yes, they are far from my way. But I say that I the living God never called my people to stray from me to go after that which I did not intend. But I say that I've called my people to walk each day in me, ever thankful to be guided by me. To know that they are indeed subject to me as their authority, the one they are meant to live in the fear of all of their days. For I say, when my own people will walk before me in fear and trembling, ever striving to please me, then I say they are uplifted in me. But I say, when the ones who are mine will walk under the dictates of carnal men, then know they are far from my way. Now I say this day that I the living God do not call you to walk afar off from me, but I say that I call you to be ever subject to me. And I say that I call you to be thankful to be knowing that in me you can be guided each day. For I say it is a privilege to believe, to trust, to obey me, and be brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. And I say it is a privilege to walk in that which I the living God will give you time and again. For I say, when you look to me as the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end, I say you are looking to the way of my life. And yes, you are looking to be ever guided, directed, and brought forth by me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer to you the truth, the light, and the strength, I say walk in the same. And I say, do not be as those who easily succumb to darkness and the evil of the same. But I say, be as those who know that through me they are kept each day as they keep themselves in me. For I say, you are not meant to be living in that which men ordain for thee, but I say, you are meant to be living in that which I provide, which is the way of righteousness, the way of truth, and the way of mercy intended. Now I say this day, do not, absolutely do not, accept the evil that men would attempt to put upon you, but I say, declare the righteousness that I am to thee. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, the way that is mercy provided. 
and it is me, the living God, who will instruct, guide, guide you, and direct you each day. And it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth and the hope, the peace, the strength, and the safety day by day. Therefore, I say this day, be glad to continue, be glad to be uplifted, be glad to be directed by me. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, you can look to, believe, and trust each day. I say, be thankful that for me, you will show the light, the truth, the strength, the hope, and the safety of who I am. And I say, be made glad that it is me, the living God, you can trust time and again. Now I say, this day, when I, the living God, do shine the light upon the path, and you will come forth in the same, then I say that you can be ever strengthened in me. And I say that you can be directed, corrected, and guided in that which I give you time and again. For I say to me, you are given the hope and the peace, the strength, the truth, and the light always. But I say, when you go under the authority of men, then I say you are covered in the darkness of the same. That is, because men are ruling out of the mannerism of the beast and not by the mind of my spirit. I say this day that I the living God do call you to keep your vision upon me, to walk ever in me, for it is me you are meant to please. And I say that I call you to declare repentance to all men at these times, and not back up from the same. For I say you are not meant to be looking for an excuse to slow down, but I say you are meant to be looking for ways to speed up the call that I have called you to give forth. That is, that all men may receive and hear my call to repent. For I say throughout this earth that men are full of darkness and evil, I say they are ruled by death rather than life. And I say they are living in the counsel of ungodly wicked men day after day, and they are wicked themselves. And I say that all men everywhere need to pay heed to the call to repent. Elsewise I say they will perish in sin and the darkness of the same. I say this day be glad to believe, to receive, and be brought forth in me, the one true God you are privileged to serve. And I say be made glad each day that you can be looking unto me, believing and trusting, for I am well able. For I say it is a privilege to look to me, to believe upon me, and trust each day in me. That is, that you can be brought forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness revealed. It is me, the living God, who is the truth and the hope and the safety intended. Therefore, I say, be coming forth in that which I give you, which is the way of my life. And I say, be uplifted each day, knowing that in me you are given the peace always. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness revealed. Therefore, I say, continue ever trusting, believing, and looking to me. For I am indeed the life source. I am indeed the truth, the light, the mercy, and the peace provided. And I say, if you truly will look upon what it is that I do for you, I say, you will never be made to shame. For I say, that I, the living God, am the one who will uplift you directly you and bring you forth and I say that I am the one who will cause you to be guided in the light that I alone do bring therefore I say be thankful for the privilege to continue trusting believing and looking to me for it is me the living God you are meant to please and I say be thankful that I the living God am the one who guides you in the newness of life that I provide that you can indeed be kept that you can indeed be strengthened and guided each day that you can indeed be brought forth in the truth the light the mercy that I give you for I am well able. I say this day do not bury yourself with the lies, the assaults, the accusations of the wicked, but I say keep your vision in me. That is, do not accept their covering of death, but rather remain in the life of who I am. For I say when you will be walking in the life, you are identified with me. And I say when you will resist the death and steadfastly cling to the life, I say you reject the authority of the beast. For I say you are not meant to accept their control, their power over you as though it were true, but I say you are meant to refuse the same. That is, and acknowledge that it is me that you serve. For I say it is me, the living God, who has called you to declare repentance, continue steadfast in the same. That is, calling all men, all women, to turn from the wickedness, the evil of their way, to walk uprightly in me. For I say it is a good thing, a sweet thing, to be directed and guided, instructed and shown my light upon the path. I say this day, be thankful for the privilege to look unto me, believe me, and trust me. For it is me, the living God, you are meant to please. And I say, be thankful thankful that you do not need to be found in the way of stubborn proud fools, but you can come forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am, ever guided in me. 
that you can be shown that it is me, the living God, who is able to direct you always. I say, therefore, in a wicked, a perverse, a vile generation, be thankful, ever thankful, to live in, declare, and proclaim repentance to a sin-sick world. That is not because of what the beast says you can do, but because you are under command of me. John 4. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. 